Jeffy's dead. What if I told you that Jeffy actually died on his 18th birthday? Don't believe me? Well, I found compelling evidence that could prove all of this. I already hear you say, but how are we getting new videos in 2024 if Jeffy is dead? Because all events from Jeffy's 18th birthday and on are all dreams in Marvin's head. Before we begin, I spend tons of time making my theory videos, and it would mean the world to me if you liked the video, subscribed, and commented your own theories down below, as I often make fan theories in into videos. You don't, that's okay, but I hope you enjoy the video. It all centers around one key event, the tragic van explosion from Jeffy's 18th birthday video. This is the pivotal moment where the SML series took a dark turn into Marvin's dream world. From this point on, nothing is quite what it seems. The first glaring clue, Nancy's inexplainable return in Jeffy's 19th birthday video. Despite being confirmed dead in the 18th birthday fateful explosion, you won't believe this shocking inconsistency that suggests Nancy's comeback is nothing more than a grief-stricken fantasy. There's more to this mystery than meets the eye. Let's rewind to Jeffy's 18th birthday. We all remember the horrific van explosion that seemingly killed off Nancy once and for all. It was a gut-wrenching moment that forever changed SML as Jeffy finally won. He defeated the evil. But then, a year later, in Jeffy's very next birthday video, Nancy suddenly reappears without any logical explanation whatsoever. I mean, she jumped out of the van. We saw the van blow up. It went boom. Me and plenty of other SML fans were left scratching our heads at this baffling plot hole. It was as if Logan forgot that Nancy was dead and they just needed to throw in a bad guy for the 19th video. Die, Goblin! Why would they undermine such a significant event with a weird continuity error? Unless it's not an error at all. What if Nancy's return is only possible inside Marvin's dream? A place where nobody truly ever dies. A realm where the lines between reality and fantasy blur beyond recognition. Guys, the cops are behind us! Oh shit, the cops! Hold on! What's going on? I think the cops are following me! Well, you better lose them! Alright, I'll try! Hold on, kids! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! Oh, but it gets even stranger. The SML videos in universe take a bizarre and weird turn after the van explosion, with stories and characters that feel more like fever dreams sometimes than reality. And the hidden meaning behind all of this will give you chills. Since the 18th birthday video, SML videos have been littered with plots so illogical and absurd, they border on downright nightmare fuel. There's repetitive stories that feel as if you're just in a repeating nightmare, crazy, scary videos like everything that was posted in Halloween of 2020. 23 and a total departure from all the SML rules we thought we knew. Think about it. everything before the 18th birthday was more of a realistic plot line. Yes, it was crazy. Yes, it was absurd. But when you look at two tickets, that's something that could actually happen. When you look at Five Nights at Freddy's, that's something that would happen in the nightmare. But if you stepped into a world, where cause and effect no longer apply. It's almost as if we've entered an imaginative reality where anything is possible now. Any character from any series can all come together. Get the hell out of here and never come back to this place ever again. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Wait, what the hell was that? Hey, Bonnie. And Chica's right there. Think about it. Who did we get in the last year? Ronald McDonald and Wendy. Why are fast food characters now large characters in the SML universe? You ever thought about that? Well, what if they're all what Marvin knew? What if his mind was so fractured and hurt from Jeffy's death that everything he knew, every image that he saw during his life has turned into a character of itself? Marvin loves going to McDonald's. Maybe that's why Ronald McDonald is now a living, breathing human in the SML universe. McDonald Tom? Yes, please, I'll drive. And don't even get me started on other characters. Everyone's personality and behavior has shifted in a way that makes zero sense after this accident. Unless you look at this through the lens of Marvin's dreams, you're not gonna see the truth. And the truth is, all of the characters have warped into weird versions of themselves. Rose has turned into a soulless, loveless human being who lives to just only cause Marvin pain. Marvin's life is literally only pain. It's 
like a nightmare every single day of him being tortured by Jeffy. Each episode involving Marvin and Jeffy unable to cope with the loss of his child, so he demonizes his child in his mind into taking on all of those negative emotions. But here's the real kicker. When you start spotting all the symbolic elements, hidden clues sprinkled throughout, you'll realize this dream theory has been staring us in the face all along. All of it pieces together into a mind-bending puzzle that points to Jeffy's death and Marvin's shattered psyche. Again, it backs the characters. Who are the characters that have shown up in the last two years from the 18th birthday video? God started appearing in videos. Why are we seeing God in the video? How is God a physical being on Earth? Unless it's all a dream it's in Marvin's head. Hey! Oh, God! Oh, no! God damn. That's right! Me damn! You weren't supposed to record me! Look, I was broke, God! I need some cash! Break bread! with a nigga. Well, what are you gonna do with all that cash when the world is flooded? <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Couldn't all these inconsistencies just be written off as lazy continuity? Why am I jumping to such a morbid conclusion? You know what? It's a fair point, and it's one that deserves consideration. So I'll address that now. SML has never been known for its airtight plotting or unwavering commitment to realism. Often people have died and come back to life. Feels like a window into a father's fractured mind. We know that most episodes don't exist in a streamlined timeline. The series thrives on absurdist humor and larger than life characters, much like South Park or Family guy where similarly people die all the time and come back to life but here's the thing the sheer volume of all of these inconsistencies that point towards the dream theory seem more than just like oopsie oversights it seems like there's a larger story at play here and i think they all point towards something far more sinister far more disturbing what if these all point to the last sml video where marvin finally wakes up so we're left with that. Evidence that suggests that Jeffy is dead. Jeffy's dead. What do you think about all the things that we brought up today in this video? Do you think that Jeffy could be dead? Do you think it's all a dream? Do you think I'm fucking high? Are you fucking high? Well, maybe. But what I do know is that we are just getting started on the crazy theories on this channel. So you're gonna wanna like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for even more crazier theories coming out soon.